Sound off like you've got a pair, and welcome back to PFC Havoc's Kerbal Space Program Career Missions. And yes, we are on the launch pad. Again. Going to head to Minmus. Again. With our rover. Again. But this time, I've added extra lights so we can see when we're landing. And I told Valentina to go learn to walk before she's allowed to drive or fly ever again. Tired of that woman. I let her sit in space for 76 days, and this is how she repays me. Anyways, we've got Minmus targeted. And we are ready to launch towards it. Let me throttle back just a smidge. I've also turned off my sticky keys, because I'm sick and tired of that. No more sticky keys, no matter how many times I hit shift. Listen. No sticky keys. Anyways, uh, we're going to launch... Uh, get up a little bit of height, and then I'm just going to skip on to uh, Minmus orbit and landing. Actually, I'll probably just skip to the Minmus landing. We've already seen the orbit. We've already seen the flight there. There's no point in doing that anymore, and it's, uh, it's going to save me uh, video time, actually. So, uh, without further ado, let's launch. And actually get off of the ground. There we go. <laughs> just throttle it up a bit. That was the slowest launch in my history. But I will see you again when we are actually proceeding to landing. I'll probably uh, catch you back when I'm about a thousand meters off of the surface or something like that. So see you in a few. Alright, we are back. Uh, we are proceeding to land now. Uh, we have lined it up so it's kind of coming over top of the zone we need to be in anyways. I may adjust it ever so slightly. Get that angle a little bit better. Hopefully as we come in to land, it will be almost on top, if not on top, of the target zone we need. Keep an eye on our fuel. And then we are going to time warp just a bit. We've got our landing gear down. We've got our lights on. So everything is hunky-dory. We don't want to time warp too far. But we do want to end up somewhat over top of our targets. I seriously want to complete this this mission. Time warp a little bit more. We're gonna have to use up some liquid fuel for this, but that is okay. All right. We've got more than enough liquid fuel. Seriously, gonna burn off as much of that as possible with uh, RCS. Yeah, that is a nasty place to be landing very nasty place to be landing. I think we should extend our antenna now. At least one of them. So we can transmit sciences. I'm going to close this one because we do not want it to get damaged when we deploy our rover. Uh, let's try to get this more upright and land a slight distance away from our actual zones. Right, we'll come into land here. Munwin is our pilot for this journey because we don't like Sally anymore. We don't like Valentina anymore. Now Sally's okay. Oh, I do not want to be uh responsible for damaging Sally's reputation. Sally is alright. 
She sucks at EVAs, but, you know, she, she's not a bad individual. She likes long walks in the park. I don't know what I'm talking about. Right, burn off some more speed. Poor little Munwin cannot uh, do the uh, retro and prograde holds. But hopefully landing here and planting a flag and all that gets him the experience that he needs. And this is kind of a, uh, a slopey area to be landing. I don't like that. Do we have a shadow? Do we have a shadow? Something to help us judge? Oh, I'm not seeing a shadow anywhere. That's okay. Landing has not been our issue. Walking has. Standard thrusters. Ooh. Burn off some more. Burn off some more. Munwin is not very good at maintaining stability control, so we will manually hold it. meters a second. That is okay. I can deal with that. There's our shadow. Awesome. I'm not liking this steep angle. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to apply this up over here. Land on top of the hill. I'm gonna land more up top of the hill. This, <laughs> this is interesting, but so be it. There's our retro. There's our retro. I'm gonna slow her down some. Try to bring her in upright. Slow her down. Slow her down some more. That's too slow. There we go. I think this is okay. Maybe, 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 maybe. Maybe. No, 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 no. So ever so gently, 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 and kill the engines. Do not slide, do not slide, do not slide. That is a precarious, precarious vessel. We're gonna decouple the node to launch our vessel. There we go. You shouldn't get damaged. Nope. He's not damaged. Hopefully his brakes are on. Um, EVA. Let 
go. See how he does with walking. How does he do with walking? For that, yep. Excellent. Oh, we gotta turn the RCS tank on. I forgot about that. Where's our RCS tank? There it is. Turn our RCS tank on. And roll her over. There we go. Brakes, 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 brakes. Turn our RCS off. There we go. Now we need a uh, motor enabled and motor enabled. Motor enabled. Motor enabled. We're going to put the steering enabled and the steering enabled. Excellent. Targeting our location, so we need to navigate there, wherever that is. Uh, turn our brakes off and see if we can't drive this beast. Excellent! We are driving. Sweet. We've got to get a EVA report here, which I believe we can do. Yeah, we can do EVA reports from our vehicle. Sweet. So we won't even have to hop out for this. Let's uh, observe a mystery goo. Keep that. I'm gonna log temperature. Keep that. I'm gonna log pressure data. Keep that. Get a seismic reading. Keep that. Let's see if we can't uh, run an analysis. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Alright, uh, so I'm going to collect the EVA reports that we need and get the, uh, the surface samples. And I will see you back at our lander when we are ready to go home. Okay, we have just collected our last bit to complete that contract. It took me 26, well, 27 minutes to drive around to all the locations because the gravity on uh, Min Miss is really low. The, uh, the brakes like to flip it, so I had to be very cautious. They can't, can't power away. Now, now we need to make it back to our lander. Way up there, we're going to set that as our target. way over here. We might as well rename this vessel while we're at it. Rename the vessel as Min Rover. Manned Min Rover. And accept that. There we go. Keep driving towards uh, our lander. Uh, we are not generating electricity because somehow our OXSTATXL photovoltaic panels broke when uh, we dropped it from its docking node. But hey, it is what it is. We've got more than enough electric charge. Got 505 left out of 800. Most of this has just been downhill letting this thing roll on its own. So we just tapped the brakes here and there. Didn't have to use any energy for that. We will bring an engineer out at some point in time, fix the solar panels. That's the only thing that's damaged on this vessel. And when we get back to our lander, we're going to try to transfer all of the sciencey stuff that we have on board. Run analysis. We're going to transfer all the sciencey stuff that we have on board to the 
container on top of our lander and then all of the sciencey stuff on our lander is going to be transferred to our crew capsule so that we are not losing any science. We will do a EVA report from outside of the lander after we've transferred everything into the uh, science capsule on top. We'll take a surface sample, we'll plant our flag, gather up all of our goods, and get the heck out of here. So I will see you back when we are at our lander. Okay, we have made it back to our lander. Uh, we're gonna leave our seat. And we want to gather all of the sciencey stuff. Nope. We're gonna collect the data from there. Yep, remove the data from there. Take the data from there. Take the data from there. And take the data from there. That is all of our data. Um, yeah, there's nothing to take from there. We are going to. No, 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 no. We want to store our experiments. Excellent. Let us do a soft landing, very soft landing, and take a surface sample here. Keep that. Do an EVA report here. Keep that. Uh, we're going to lift over. Just a little bit over here and land gently and we're gonna plant our flag plant a flag there you go min rover landing mun win knows how to walk there you go Win. All right, uh, turn our RCS back on. We're gonna get back and board our vessel. Grab hold and board our vessel. Excellent. See, we have got sciencey stuff inside of here. We're gonna log our pressure data and keep that. Log seismic data, keep that. Log temperature, keep that. Uh, log pressure data, overwrite that pressure data, keep that. Yep, 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 close. All of that will be coming back with us. I'm going to do a crew report here. Might as well keep that. This is excellent. Uh, I believe you yeah, 272 liquid fuel. That should be more than enough to get us home. So, uh, without further ado, we can turn off our RCS. We can just lift off and get the heck out of here. So, let us go. Put our gear up. Angle this over. See, we have got that is good. I'm going to add a maneuver to just circularize because we do not want to be blowing you way out into the nothingness. So, just as little as possible. There we go. I'll put you at nine. You got a 12 second burn. in a very short bit. Might as well do our burn now. Get that out of the way. Give us... Somewhat. Yep, there we go. Excellent. At our... Apoapsis. I'm going to add a maneuver to angle that up. No, 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 not at our apoapsis. Cancel that. We're going to do that 
That's good. So in 11 seconds. Yeah, we've got an interesting way to get home. But that is okay. We will be going home. Burn for 11 seconds. Three. Cancel that. Yep. Excellent. Now, we want to target, <laughs> no, we want to target Kerman, but I guess we ain't going to be able to do that right now. I'm going to add a maneuver to, the wrong side, huh? <laughs> I'm going to add a maneuver on this side to burn it out. Excellent. That gets us out of that. And... Nope. Maybe that puts our periapsis at... I don't want a Mun Encounter. What's this maneuver look like? Didn't miss escape. All right, yeah, we can uh, we can do that. 18 second burn in 10 minutes. I'm gonna do that, and then we will lower it down. So uh, when we are on our final approach, uh, I will see you back. <clears throat> All right, we are back. We are in a suborbital somewhat. Our periapsis is really low. We got plenty of fuel. I'm going to burn off some of this excess speed before we do our separation. We're at 255,000 meters and it seems like Kerbin is having a rendering disorder. That's okay. I really don't care. <laughs> this is not the same planet I left. It's a fuzzier one. We're going to use up as much of this fuel as possible to slow down some of our speed before we hit Atmo. Now retract our antenna. Do not do that. And we're going to lose a lot of fuel, but we're going to be coming in at a heck of a lot of speed. It's fine, we've come in faster before and still survived. There we go, now, uh, first separation. Ew, 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 oh, 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 yeah, wibbly wobblies. Wibbly wobblies. Wibbly wobblies. Wibbly wobblies. Get, yeah, get off of there. Stuck to my butt. <laughs> Well, you know what? Munwin may not be able to separate his vessel effectively, but he's still better than Valentina. Hey! Kerbin is back to what it's supposed to be. Excellent. Munwin even looks excited. Uh, we're going to get rid of the uh, the next stage now. This excess bit. Goodbye. Goodbye come in but first as always we're gonna time warp in to Atmo Here we go about 80 there that's good come on ablator once I see the ablator going away I know that we have hit at there yeah, there we go it's heating up We're coming in at a pretty steep angle. Not what I usually like to do. Plus, it looks like we're going to be landing on land. Also, something I'm not very fond of doing. That's our uh, ladders heating up. That's okay. 
I want to get this burned, this speed burned off as fast as possible, so that we can deploy our chutes and come in safely. Ooh, we got some high G's there. High G's, not good. Uh, coming in a lot faster than I really wanted to, but that's okay. We survived. We brought all of our science with us too. We will be able to deploy our chutes. Excellent. I'm gonna wait until about mm, ten thousand. Now I'm gonna wait about five thousand. Yeah, five thousand's a good altitude. Saves us a lot of hassle uh, having to time warp through all of it. Slow and steady. Well, we only lost uh, 10 points off of our ablator. That is uh, that is very surprising. I've lost more on uh, slower approaches. All right, we're hitting 5,000 now. Our shoots. Turn our SAS off. And just do our time warp. Doing our time warp again. Our little red ones deploy. I believe our big yellow one deploys later. Well, fully deploys. Uh, actually, it looks like we're going to be coming in hot. Yeah, we're going to be coming in hot, I believe. Okay, as long as everything stays intact and doesn't explode. No explosion. Our ablator exploded. Let's see if any of our science gear exploded. Did any of our science gear explode? Ah, oh, man, it looks like some of our science gear exploded. Ah, oh, man. That's okay. That is okay. We still got most of our sciencey stuff with us. Uh, we're going to recover our vessel and see what all we have gotten for our mission. It's been super successful, too. Look at that, 769 science. We got 630.3 just for our flight. Uh, yeah, Munwin is now level 2. Excellent. We've gained a shit ton of rep and for completing our contract we made some good money we made some good uh good science oh yeah all in all that was a super successful mission i'm very pleased with myself i'm very pleased with uh munwin he did an excellent job uh so i'm going to end the video now before i screw anything up uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment what you'd like to see next. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what we're going to be doing in the next video. I'm going to check the mission control afterwards. I'm also going to go through research and development. Uh, we're going to get our science off of uh, our space station as well for the days that we were out there on uh, Minmus. Uh, so we're going to figure out what we're going to do for the next video. Uh, I'm going to leave that as a bit of a surprise, I guess. Uh, but for now... Happy flights, safe travels, and as always, this is PFC Havoc signing off.